And it's gotta be Gentleman's Project That's the only thing that's soothing my soul Turn on the TV to Power Rangers Welcome again, ladies and gentlemen, to yet another episode of Color Commentary where we give you views from a different side. Today we're going to be talking about my main man. Luke Cage up in the house. Yes, sir. Man, we are so excited to talk about this show. We're not just going to do a spoiler review, but we're going to do a non-spoiler review because we got to let you know you need to watch this show. Like, stop wasting time. Stop what you're doing. Don't go to your job. Take a sick day and watch Luke Cage because this show is absolutely awesome. Of course, as usual, I am Rashad Waters, your Rashad host. Soap. And I, what? No, my name is Rashad. I'm Rashad Waters. Stokes. <laughs> my name is Rashad Stokes. <laughs> And, of course, this is Color Commentary, where we're talking about Luke Cage. Let's go ahead and, and bring in our uh, co-host here as we get into Season 2 of Luke Cage. What's happening there, uh, Danny? Go ahead and introduce yourself, sir. What's up, everybody? You know who it is. It's your boy, Danny J. Quick. And I got on the original, the black and yellow, the black hero with the yellow jumpsuit uh, power line. I know that some of y'all don't know about that movie, <laughs> movie Life. Stand down. Above the crowd. Anyway, we're not talking about that right now. Uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed Luke Cage, and I actually was almost late to work this morning because I was trying to finish it. But uh, yeah, I, I, man, this film was great. I'm putting it at the top of my list for um, for for Marvel Netflix shows already. I'm not gonna. This is the non-spoiler review, so I'm gonna try not to. You know, I'm horrible about spoilers, so I'm gonna try my best not to spoil it for y'all. <laughs> I would just say. We need to go see. You need to see it if you haven't already. So by the next time we do a video, you can discuss it with us. And what's going on there, Mr. Chuck Taylor? What's up? What's up? What's up, guys? What's up, guys? This movie, this show is awesome. It's just I don't know. I don't know how to say. It. I want to just tell you everything about the show, but I can't because it's the non-spoiler review. So I'm gonna see how I do on that. So. Just let you know I may spill the beans because I don't know how to do non-spoiler shows. But anyway, uh, I'm doing good, guys. I can't wait to get into this. Uh, KFH, party easy here. The party's all kind. We should have did a, a Luke Cage part. That would have been nice, but that's a, that's a lot of episodes to sit through. Maybe we would have watched like the first two or something, but uh, maybe next time. But let's get into this. <laughs> oh, no, Chuck. Oh, no, Chuck. You, saw, you saw what happened on every party, every party that they had during the show. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're not, we're not spoiling. I'm sorry. <laughs> we will not yeah, be having or bite. Like, bite. Now. <laughs> so right. let's briefly get into this. So obviously you can't get any any details, but just like how did this show win, man? Like what did you think about it? Man, I say the the characters were so great, man. Really, they could have called this show. Um, Mariah Stokes and Misty Knight featuring Luke Cage. Like the show had so much, um, so much from the supporting cast. Like the stories were so deep. The villain had, you know, uh, a motivation that you could. I think they learned a lot from Black Panther and from um, what's that other movie with the with the good villain? Uh, and the Fairy War. No, not not Infinity War. Definitely you know, not. You didn't like, oh wow! So you, I know you like. <laughs> uh, I'd say uh, they like they learned a lot from Black Panther because they 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 gave us a villain that we could say, okay, I understand why he's doing these horrible horrible things to people. Like mm -hmm. he actually felt sorry for him, and um, I'm not going to give away you know what his motivations were, but the the way that I like that they put they gave us him before they told us. His motivations. I'm, I'm trying not to give away anything, but I when I first was watching, I was like, they should have put this episode at the beginning. But um, I I, I kind of like that they gave it that to us further on down in the um in the episode. So even though the show does kind of start slow, we know that Netflix shows do that. 
they all start slow every one of them so give it three episodes and find you a character to hold on to and hope that they survive it that's all i'm gonna say <laughs> <laughs> they survive it. what about you uh mr Chuck taylor what do you think man oh how did they win how didn't they win uh first of all uh thumbs up again the music was awesome all the way throughout the the you know the whole season so you're gonna enjoy you know just listen to all the different types of music and everything that's 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 great um they do have can i even say this all right so the different villains i guess you could say are different people in the show seeing them uh i guess really give the reasons how they became a villain is big you know <laughs> you know seeing how the villains are are um made kind of remain kind of reminds me you know it definitely is is coming from the new age of villains like with the killmonger so you kind of saw what tragic thing happened in killmonger's life to kind of put him down this path so you kind of see that you see, being able to see that with a lot of the different villains in the show really help you understand them you know more as a character and you kind of fall like dang I, I do feel sorry for them i do understand them well that's still a little too far i don't really know how <laughs> you can right. continue to i can't really feel sorry for you after you did that there are some moments in that's going to come you know that's going to come in this season as you're going to be like whoa was not expecting that that was very real and it's wow. really good but it was very real so <laughs> Netflix holds nothing back. I enjoy watching shows on Netflix because they give it to you raw. And that's exactly what they do with Luke Cage. They kind of answer. They go into a lot of different um, social issues, um, a lot of different, you know, politics, uh, how the world is viewed from different um, different people, with different races. So you kind of get to see that throughout the show on how they look at things, even doing like police. How do the police in the police department view different situations? So you kind of you get you get a lot of you get a, a lot of things to think about during these these episodes. I, after almost every episode, I was like, "Wow, that's I don't really know what I would do in this situation. That's a tough one. This is a tough situation. Let's see what the next episode is about." So mm -hmm. I, I feel like you know you'll definitely enjoy it all the way through. Keeps you keeps you on your feet. Mm hmm. That's about as good as I can do without telling you everything. So go to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> man, um, I'm going to tell you, man, after the last episode, I really felt like I was watching like a really good play. You know, one of those plays where like the last thing happens and then the curtain drops and then everybody in the audience stands up and gives a stand ovation. And then like each member of the cast comes out and you're like, yeah. You're like you're cheering for each person because the cast is so awesome, and then the main character comes out. Like that's how I felt watching this movie because there were so many great performances. Like it was amazing. And Danny, you were right. It it felt a lot like Black Panther. Like yes, Luke Cage was the central character, and everything orbited around him. But watching each individual uh, develop as they're orbiting around him was just amazing. I mean, it's just, you really get the chance to see so many of them. And I'm going to drop some names because there's characters that were in the first season and we know the name of the main bad guy. His name is Bushmaster. I mean, they said that in the, tra in the trailer, so I I'll say his name, you know, but um, you can understand him. Like, you really understand him. And Mariah Dillard, you know, um, she plays a role in this, uh, just like she did in, in the first season. You like you really understand, Mariah Stokes. Stokes, Mariah Stokes. <laughs> Stokes. <laughs> yeah, that comes up a lot, a lot. And there was payoff. That was payoff when she said, "I'm Mariah Stokes." That's what I've been talking about with the Incredibles. There was no payoff, but this was that was payoff right, right there. Enough That's with the Incredibles. Payoff. Incredibles was not thirteen episodes, sir. <laughs> like That's okay, hours, man. In, in one hour and 58 minutes, I could have got some payoff. Anyway, <laughs> Shades. Shades plays a role in this, and you really, like, Shades in the first episode, in the first season was just a very one-dimensional character. I mean, all he did was... <laughs> <laughs> so, 
I mean, that's all he did. He just took his sunglasses off and put them back on again, you know. But in this one, it's like, gosh, like his role is, you really see, you really understand a lot of things about him. And, and Luke as well. And then, um, obviously, um, Misty plays a role in this as well because everybody sees, you know, from the trailers that she gets her arm and stuff. It's just amazing. Like, the the cast is so well it's so it's so balanced and the writing is so good and let me tell you something man episode 13 is going to blow you away like the last four episodes are amazing but episode 13 you're not going to expect you're not going to be able to predict it i promise you you're going to be like oh i see what's happening right there and then what's going to happen is oh <laughs> oh no that doesn't happen oh oh Okay. I right, well, at least I don't have to. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, this is the first show, real quick. This is the very first uh, superhero show of any kind, other than one episode of Agents of Shield. What I couldn't wait until the next season to start. Like y'all remember the episode of Agents of Shield where like Gemma gets sucked into the um into the thing. And we're like, what the heck happened to Gemma? You know. But other than that. Every time I watch another season of a show, I'm just excited to see the show, but I'm not excited like right after that last season ended. I mean, I want to see more, but I'm not like, oh, my God, I got to see the next season. This one, I was like, y'all can't leave me like this, man. Like, what are y'all doing? Like, I need Luke Cage season three in like three months. Y'all need to get that done. I mean, this is a superhero show, but it's really like it's like it's like power or empire. Yeah, Power it's Empire. I was about to say that. I was like, it makes you feel like yeah. Power Empire. It's like when you watch those, like the end of the season, it's like, what the heck just happened? Now nah, I can't go a whole <laughs> year without this. What the heck just happened? I like Game of Thrones. Right. One of them, like those type of shows, like, okay, y'all can't make me wait all year for this. This sucks. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what about what about you, Danny? Uh, uh, is there anything that that where this movie or this show didn't win? Like, how did it feel? If at all, I'm having a hard time finding anything. I will say, I Danny Rand was not great. I mean that who Danny Rand, who? the Immortal Iron Fist. I don't know uh, who that is. The who Iron the Fist. what? He was in this. Yes. You mean you mean in the in the series that came out before that that series was pretty terrible. On yeah. Defenders. Oh yeah, on Defenders he was bad. No, oh, right in Defenders. Right, right. <laughs> The one he was terrible was I mean he wasn't as bad I'll say as as in his own show um I ah, man I can't I don't want to say but um the the character Piranha I I can't even say I can't say anything without giving it away <laughs> <laughs> I really like I'll say there are characters that I really like that I wish would have stayed around longer. Um, th- there were like three of them. And um, I actually found out that one of the characters um, passed away during the filming of the show. So, mm-hmm. right. Uh, you know, that one, uh, Tomato Sauce. Yeah, he was, when yeah. Tomato Sauce died, that was. That horrible. one character, um, I wish he, I wish we would have got to see him in the last couple of episodes because that story arc was really, a really powerful part of the show. Um, right. So that that you know, you know, but <laughs> I can't say it without giving the show away. Um, <laughs> I I um, Tilda, I didn't like Tilda Tilda at various parts of the show. Like one episode I would like her, one episode I wouldn't. I wish that they remained consistent with her. But the conversation that her and Mariah Stokes had really hurt my feelings. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I did not know a person could be that mean, um, mm-hmm. and it made me physically upset for for a while. Um, but these are, even though they're things that I didn't like about the show, they're good things because they gave me a, an emotional reaction. They made me um, care about the characters. They gave me attachment to them, um, and now I want to see what happens with them in the next season. Like the new characters that they introduced, and even the characters that aren't on the show anymore. You know, um, they just did a great job with them. The one thing that I will say that I did not like was the resolution between Luke and Claire. I'll say I did not like that. 
I'm not gonna say what it was, but I did not like the resolution between those two. And that's all uh, because I'm about to give the whole show away. So <laughs> let let's just say it was very similar to what I was talking about in the Jurassic Park episode that we did with the uh, the end of my date. <laughs> 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 oh. Good. Please forgive us, guys. We're we're not obviously for all of our fans. We're not used to doing non-spoiler shows. We want to tell it all, we and we want you to watch this show so you can talk about it with us. We're definitely doing a spoiler show next week, so you can you can share it with us because it is so hard to talk about this. But go ahead, Chuck right. Taylor. Uh things that I did not like. Um, I guess. Really, I mean, the show was amazing. Um, it is. It does take a couple episodes to get into it, but it's a so it's a show. You know, it's not a movie. So, you know, I guess you may just need to just continue to watch if it's not up to par to you. He's like, oh, I don't need more action. I'll no, just continue to watch. You know, it's gonna con- it's gonna increase, and you're gonna connect even more with the uh, the show by the end of it. But um, other than that. Um, Hmm, without telling you of parts of the show, how do I do this? This is hard. Harder than you think. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, um, no, I can't say anything. I'm just have to wait to the next show because it's right. not going to happen. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Just watch it so then we can all talk about it next week. And, uh, you know, I can give you all my dislikes and what, what, what problems I like with, with, with which characters show up in this season. Because we don't mm-hmm. know, you know, it'd be right. cool to see right. Iron Fist and some of these other characters. I don't know if they were in there or not. You'll have to watch. Stay tuned. Man, I ain't trying to see no Iron Fist, boo. <laughs> yeah, he, he might be in the show. I didn't even realize that I spoiled that because I thought everybody knew he was in there. Maybe. Uh, yeah, my bad. That's my fault. <laughs> I didn't even realize. I didn't even realize I spoiled it. <laughs> realize that you spoiled what? I don't, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. I, I didn't don't hear know what you're talking about. I spoiled it again. I'm just shut up now. <laughs> you're a double. You're a double Stokes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um. <laughs> um. It's only two things I, I I can find that where this show didn't win. For me, it was just a personal thing, and it's kind of like one of those things that Daddy said. Um. <clears throat> It wasn't that the show did this wrong. I just felt a certain way about them. Like, the if you're like me, the bystanders, like, all of the people in the show that are not major characters might piss you off a little bit about how they treat um, Luke Cage. Like, we all saw in the trailer where he gets, like, his butt kicked a little bit. And, like, how they treat him when that happens, even though Luke Cage spends all of his time trying to protect them and trying to help them, how they treat him it just won't really cool for me. It's like, what are you going to do about this? <laughs> like they're paying him. Like you talk to the person that's coming to fix your plumbing at your apartment. What do you, my plumbing is backed up. What are you going to do about this? Because you're paying rent. Yes. Mm-hmm. Talk to them that way because you're paying rent. But people that are doing you a favor and risking their life and you just like, what are you going to do about this? Yeah. It might piss you off a little bit, you know, but again, that wasn't a failing of the show. That was just, I felt that way about you know, about that. The only way that, uh, the show failed, man, is you do have to power through the first, I would say, four, four and a half episodes. You kind of have to power through them a little bit. I mean, I was I was texting Danny and, and Charlie. I remember saying specifically to Charlie, I was like, man, this um, this thing, this Marvel thing, man, like they're really starting to mess up their um, their standing with me because Jessica Jones is horrible, you know, and. And Cloak and Dagger, like, I was excited about it. You saw our show about Cloak and Dagger, but then I'm having such a hard time watching this show now because it is really slow. Like, God, is slow. So to go from watching, you know, Cloak and Dagger, which is like Grandpa sleeping, you know, and then watching Luke Cage the first four episodes, I'm like, the first, you know, you get a little something the first episode, and then after that you're like, Okay, people are talking. I like it, but yeah. But then, if you just wait, man, it's like a roller coaster, man. When you're going on on the roller coaster, you tick 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 tick, and it's real slow. But once you get over that hoop, man, it's it's throwing you all over the place. And man, it is absolutely a, without a doubt the best superhero TV show Netflix 
Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., all of that. It is Flash, Arrow, all of that. It is absolutely the best superhero TV show on TV. So uh, can we just all agree that people should watch this show? Yep. Yes, watch it. So we there can we spoil go. it. All right. We can talk about it next week. Hurry up and watch right. it. Right. <laughs> and... Um, yeah, so, and certain people that, and uh, Danny over there, and uh, yes, Danny, it, thank you for letting us know that Danny is in the show, because you're Danny, and you are on the show, so, yeah, glad to let, glad that you let everybody know that you, Danny, are on the show. Yes, I did make it into the show, I'm on the cage, I guess, now, don't be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> I might look a little different on screen. I'm a little light, lighter skinned, and I can do martial <laughs> arts. But that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for watching yet another episode of Color Commentary. Um, please make sure to look at our playlist at the bottom under the descriptions where you can see other videos that we have done, like Jurassic Park. Uh, Fallen was it Fallen Kingdom and Star Wars Solo and Deadpool Two and Black uh, Panther and Proud Mary? No, watch that one and um, <laughs> <laughs> Angels of Seal. <laughs> and of course, as usual, you gotta subscribe to survive. Thanks again for watching. Color commentary will review views from a Stoke side. Peace. And it's gotta be Gentleman Toast Project That's the only thing that's soothing my soul uh, uh, I'm bulletproof <laughs> <laughs> And it's gotta be Gentleman Toast Project That's the only thing that's soothing my soul Turn on the TV to Power Rangers, yeah Now it's morphin' time, I'm ready to